things can be found almost anywhere. They often share the same home and depend on one another to survive. For example, cows need plants for food, and plants need bees for reproduction. Almost all organisms rely on the sun to get energy in one way or another. People mostly get their energy by eating food. Our food comes from either plants or animals. Plants or any other living being that can make their own food are called producers. Humans or any other living being that must get their food from another living being are called consumers. Living beings such as worms, which are in charge of eating dead things, are called decomposers. Consumers are classified according to what they eat. Herbivores are plant-eating animals. Herbivores usually feed solely on consumers. Carnivores are meat-eating animals that can eat other herbivores and carnivores. Omnivores are organisms that can feed on either plants or other organisms. An animal that hunts down another in order to survive is called a predator. The hunted animal is called prey. So you always say that a predator hunts its prey. The transfer of energy from the sun through plants to animals is called a food chain. It always starts with a plant, followed by a herbivore, and then a carnivore that eats a herbivore. Several food chains combined are called a food web, so energy flows from one living being to another following a web scheme. Living beings within an environment are always competing with each other for space, sunlight, oxygen, water, and food. For example, when a house is built, humans try to occupy a space that was probably previously occupied by either plants or animals. In nature, everything is linked together in a delicate balance. When we think of it this way, humans must be very careful not to alter the balance by polluting the environment or by irresponsibly consuming resources.